So my name is Peter Mames. I'm a South African artist and uh, I recently came to London and uh, I mostly make drawings, I also make paintings now, very neon, big neon paintings and uh, I've worked around the world um, in different locations, most recently in uh, Cairo making drawings. So I do research and then make drawings in that country um, and currently now in uh, in the UK I'm doing that. And I'm Emily Kirby, I am a figurative painter. The majority of my work draws on the study of people and wildlife using the figure as a central object for interpretation. I'm interested in exploring methods of painting that allow me to communicate and express emotion and movement. I've been in Spain for the last four years. I've just got back to the UK, basing myself down in Brighton. Um, Peter and I met just recently and decided to do a pop-up show together. We realised I have links, I was born in Zambia, and him coming from South Africa, we felt like our work was quite influenced by that and actually sits really well together. So yeah, curating this show and getting Peter's input on that has been good experience. We wanted to do a pop-up show, I think this is like a, a great opportunity to showcase our work to London having just kind of both of us arrived quite recently. Um, this is a great area, Shoreditch, and I was lucky enough to have a friend who's got this space um, offered to us very generously. Lots of good feedback, lots of people came last night to the opening. I really feel that uh, Emily's work, uh, especially the, the, the type of colours that she uses, um, somehow, even though it's not what I do, but I kind of work together. Um, and the, the subject matter as well. Um, and I really do feel that our work on this show actually complemented each other, although we very different. Um, yeah, a little bit about my take on the exhibition as well is, uh, yeah, the way that we've curated and um, interspersed each other's work. My work's quite, um, Bold and you can really sort of see it from a distance whereas Peter draws you in and there's this incredible depth and detail in his work which I love so I feel the whole experience actually walking through the show you're constantly kind of coming in and then being able to step back again it's very um, dynamic in that sense I've really enjoyed that you can find me online my website is www.emilykirby.org that's k-i-r-b-y and my Instagram is emilykirby underscore art. My, uh, my website is www.patterndiscord.com and my Instagram is at Peter Mamas. So it's P-E-T-E-R-M-A-M-M-E-S. Okay, so I love to work on portraiture on a large scale. I think that it gives you so much freedom to create quite a like bold piece. Um, I quite often start with a very abstract beginning with initially quite an intuitive reaction to the experience as I, I saw it. I use dancers quite often and they're in a moment of real self-expression, which I love. This particular piece was of a guy in Kochi in India. I met him at a Kathakali school. Um, I love the balance of femininity in his movement and his presence. Uh, it was particular interest, particularly interested in kind of bringing that strength, but also sort of masculine and feminine side out in, in, his, in his piece in particular. And uh, yeah, this was, um, this was a piece I was really happy with. Uh, this is one of my latest drawings. Um, uh, it, over here you see a dead rabbit. And uh, that's a dead rabbit uh, I found like as roadkill next to the road in, um, in Namibia. Um, and then next to it is a, is a splintered hand. And that's the idea I'm working on at the moment is splints and uh, bandages and um, things being wrapped up. Um, also like mummies, 
you know, it's like pre preserving or covering up or trying to fix things. Um, and I find the combination of these images give a tell a little story. Um, then the patterns or um, patterns that I found on my travels, some of them are from Egypt, this one's from India. Um, this one is actually, it's an Arabesque pattern from, uh, from Egypt, but I found it in the Coptic Christian area. So even though no one would know that, that's why I kind of used it, you know, it's a, a interesting uh, little surprise. These are part of a recent direction I've gone in to do with the female nude isolating the torso in a particularly powerful posture. I feel like femininity needs to be slightly reclaimed. In the past it's meant to me something that's been under the male gaze for as long as a lot of history goes back. Um, to me I feel like when women are empowered and this posture can actually be incredibly forceful and I think that it's something I want to celebrate more and more a woman in a posture that's unapologetic and not for the male gaze only. This is a, uh, I've used the most neon paints I could find. Um, the UK has got a, like really good paints on offer. Um, paints that I couldn't find in South Africa. And uh, so I've used different pigments uh, in this and actually get the pigments as powder and these different types of pearlescent that I've used in this uh, painting. So um, this is a, a depiction of a um, sea lucant. It's a drawing that I actually use quite a lot in my, um, an animal that I use quite a lot in my drawings and uh, paintings. And this is a horseshoe crab. Um, this is actually, I mean, this is one of my favorite animals in the world. Um, the reason I use them is because they're, they're supposed to be uh, living fossils, they're known as living fossils. Um, this is a firing squad and um, I just find the, the dynamic with the with like groups of people interesting. It's really it's complicated and tricky to draw and that's why I draw them too, not just for the conceptual part of it but also because it's it's entertaining to draw it's, it's challenging, let's throw it that way, to draw these like groups of people together. And then this is a um, child soldier from, uh, from the Soviet Union, from the Second World War.